Adobe XD is a great tool because in it you can design, prototype and share all within one app. You don't have to change different apps. And in this video, I'm going to show you how that workflow basically works. So if we switch to Adobe XD, once again, we have design, prototype and share. And this is my chatty UI kit, which you can get if you join my membership alongside all of the courses, all of the design products, mentorship, private access to the Facebook group and much more. So what I'm going to show you is this inside of a design. Obviously, you can design inside of prototype. You can add different transi transition elements, movement and so on. And finally, inside of a share tab, you can share it with your clients, developers and teammates on the free plan. You have just just one link sharing option so make sure to use it wisely and when you finish with it make sure you delete it so that you can share it once again with your future clients if you're working with one client at a time then if I zoom in right here and if I show you we have all of these different elements so for example maybe I want to switch let's say I want to actually copy this so I'm going to move it right here so I'm boarding one and we are in a design mode and I can hold my alter option key to position it right here. And for example, I want to move it inside of this one. I want to change it. So let's actually go back to here. Let's group these three control G and let's call it elements. I can copy that text and I can go back to my second screen, hit control G call it elements and inside of this one what I want to do is I want to simply move number three right here and I want to move number two and number one out of the way but before I do I want to make sure that number two is scaled like this so I want to double click on my background make sure it's roughly around here for example and then uh, number one and number two I want to move them out of the way like this maybe and then I want to move this and increase it in size like so. So basically you can see what it uh, what I did and I need to change it just a little bit bigger, roughly around here. It doesn't really matter for this presentation. Obviously, you're going to make sure to pay attention or you can click right here and see it's 550. So if I click right here, 550 and also for the second one, maybe uh, I can change it to 458. So I can locate it right here, four, five, eight, like this. And now we have perfect sizing. So this is the design. This is basically what you're creating. If you click right here, you can see we have all of these different components, character styles, we have the colors. So all of the things we talked about now, when I switch to prototype, what I can do is basically prototype the movement between these two. How can I do that? All I need to do is either select the artboard or even better, select the elements. So if I click right here, you have this blue dot, simply click on it, drag it to the artboard you want to come to. And now I can select drag. You can use tap, drag, keys or gamepad if you're creating for uh, games, for example, and stuff like that. And you have voice if you're creating for Amazon Alexa, for Google uh, Assistant and stuff like that. In this case, I'm going to choose drag type auto animate, which is why we named the elements like this. We position them exactly the same manner. So auto animate is basically Adobe XD uh, AI trying to work out the differences between your two artboards and the elements inside of those artboards. And basically with it, uh, it's trying to uh, predict the animation you were trying to go for. And it's usually really good. So you don't have to do anything else. You can just do that. We have overlay which is great if you're creating menus, for example, so you can create a separate artboard or parts of an artboard, create it as an overlay. And then when you animate an overlay in, you can simply select it and it's going to uh, overlay on top of your artboard where you want your menu to go, for example. Scroll to is great if you're creating a website and you have a top navigation, uh, for example, landing pages, then you can click on each item inside of your navigation. It's going to scroll to that particular part uh, which your navigation is linked with. You can have previous artboard, audio playback and speech playback. 
previous artboard is basically go back to the previous artboard audio playback is if you're creating let's say music uh, application you can import the song actually you can click audio playback it's going to play back or speech playback if you are prototyping for these uh, voice assistants as i said if you choose a transition then you can change destination which is this onboarding 1.2 obviously you can change the name right here animation so we have none dissolve slide left right slide up and down we have push left right up and down so all of these basic uh, are there we have easing so easing is basically how you want your uh, transition to look like if you want it to be fast if you want it to be slow if you want it to ease from one artboard to the other that's where you're going to choose easings so basically if i click right here we have ease out which is at the end of your transition ease in at the beginning is in out so at in um, at the beginning and at the end we have the snap so at the end of the navigation is going to snap into position wind up and bounce are basically the same thing just it's going to wind up or bounce at the end of your transition and we have the duration for, uh, basically how long it this transition is going to last and you can click right here and go anywhere from 0.2 seconds to 5 seconds it's not represented right here you have to click right there and type in 5 press enter and it's going to show 5 seconds it's not going to go below 0.2 and it's not going to go above 5 seconds so if we go back to our drag and one more thing I want to show you is this so you can actually click right here and then click the transition here instead of a trigger drag you have the time trigger so basically if you're creating animations when you want something to happen after a certain time then you're going to use time triggers but at the moment time triggers are just working with our boards as they are they are not working with elements inside of our board so you will have to choose something else delay is basically delay let's say that uh, I want to transition like this after a certain time so that delay is that certain time so you can set it to five seconds so same like we spoke about uh, just below or you can do zero so click and then type zero two times press enter it's going to go back to zero like that auto animate so basically you can do all of these things that we just mentioned destination is this easing easing out duration is the duration of the animation finally if you want to basically remove your transition what you need to do is select our port in this case click and drag this arrow outside and it's basically going to unlink and it's not going to work i can then go back to here click here and it's going to select it like so so i can choose drag auto animate easing i can go with ease in out for example and then for this one what i can do is click and go back i can do the same thing because adobe xd is going to remember what you did last time and it's going to simply apply those changes to this animation as well so finally what i can do is click right here and we have two options we have mobile previews which is the device preview uh, for this to work you have to connect your ios or android device and for ios you can link it with itunes for android you have to download xd app and that app is basically going to be used for all of your cloud documents you have to save your cloud uh, your files as cloud documents in order for this to work and you have to connect them with your usb cable i know it's a lot of steps but it's really useful especially when you're creating these mobile apps and you want to see how they are going to look like on the real device once they are coded how the spacing looks like on real device uh, are the font sizes big or small and all of those things and what we have right here is desktop preview so you can preview it right here on your desktop you can click right here to enter and now let's see our animation you can see how it looks like so i can go back and forward when i drag right here you can see that this original card is going to shrink in size and this card is going to expand in size and position into this place and of course i can always go back you can link your buttons you can link your artboards you can do anything you want and finally what i want to share you uh, show you is this when you go to the share tab what you can do is you can create a link but if i go control zero 
what you can see right here so because we are on a free plan as i mentioned if you're on a premium plan you don't have any of these limitations but i just wanted to show you once again that you can do all of these things with a free plan so basically this is the link so chatty ui kit is this project design review is your settings so you can click right here design review you can get feedback on your design or prototype development you can share it with developers they can basically sample snippets of code i'm not going to show all of these details in this lesson but you can browse my youtube channel or you can go to my courses and you can see it there in much 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 richer details i have adobe xd masterclass which is over 20 hours long so we really dive deep into all of these settings and as i said there is really a lot to be covered right there but basically in basics design review is for your clients or your teammates development is for your developers because they can see snippets of code they can see distances they can see all of these things presentation is if you are going to a meeting for example and you just want to present this prototype for your stakeholders your teammates whoever just to see how they are going to react are they going to like it and stuff like that you have user testing inside user testing you're going to hide all of these options so uh, in all of these options so design review development and presentation you have these step points so these step points are uh, allowing your viewers to see where they need to tap in order to progress or to do something else while in user testing adobe xd removes all of these things because you want to see your users how they are reacting to your app are they able to navigate their way around are they able to understand where they need to click and stuff like that so user testing is really important finally you have custom so you can show or hide all of these things which i just mentioned and you have multiple options besides that you can hide the navigation you can hide all of these things so you can really create a custom experience depending on who you are sharing this with so let's say i want to share this for a design review for example I can go with anyone with the link or only invited people or anyone with password so you can really change and adjust this however you want and finally you can create a link i'm not going to do this at the moment because what you can do is you can also share the artboard itself or you can share groups of artboards like this so you can select them and click like this so share and it's just going to share these two artboards, which is what we created right now. So it's creating a public link. What I can do is if I create any changes, I can update the link. I can click right here to open it in my browser, which I'm going to do in a second. Finally, you can copy link and you can embed link. So you can embed link if you are creating a presentation on Behance, for example, and you want that presentation to stand out by including these rich uh, presentations, rich navigations, then you can embed that presentation inside of your Behance presentation, for example. Now that this is published, what we have right here is this. So you can invite people to join. You can zoom and zoom. You can go full screen. You have your notification if somebody left a comment and this is your basically avatar. You can go and change your profile and stuff like that. Speaking of comments, what you can do is you can place a pin to this, for example, and say, let's say that this blue is too bright like that you can click submit and you can add people so for example the your client name is john you can add john what do you think about this color then john is going to reply at alex for example and this conversation is going to go on you can show on screen comments you can hide all screen comments do whatever you want you can hide annotations you can filter comments by your teammates let's say that you have 10 people in your team and you just want to see john's comments let's say you're going to filter it by john right there you can see the total number of comments right here and you can click right here to access all of your artboards if you remember we just shared these two artboards because i don't want to share anything else because just these two are the artboards that we actually worked on and you can always go back and click on this one for example home screen is going to show you let's go to the, this second one because you can navigate like this or you can also use uh, your keyboard shortcuts to left and right arrows to navigate and when you are at some other artboard you want to go to the home artboard which is this one you can always click right here and finally everything works as it should right here of course you can go right here and when you switch to this screen you can see that we don't have any comments on this screen but we do on this what you can do is you can either click here 
to go to this screen or I can always go back like this or click right here or go back to here and then simply access the first screen and enter it there. So you can really see how working in Adobe XD can expand your possibilities. You don't really have to be tied to a piece of software with just uh, these regular settings. So you don't have to change pieces of software. You don't have to design in one prototype in another and then share in another. All of this is inside of this single app, which is Adobe XD. In the next video, uh, we are going to share uh, some settings about exporting your files. So I'll see you there.